Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dora Tapalska International Nail Artist and Educator here and today I have prepared for you a very easy but effective design with a clean foam, you can have a look in here. Yes, so it's a kind of like a crinkle, like a satin wrap made with the chrome and a clean film and I will show you all the hints and tips how to create this design so it works for you as well. Let's start! So as you can see that's uh, those nice designs which we are going to create today. It was actually fun doing them and I've got my tips in here which I'm going to buff it for this design. So we need to buff it really well. So nice buff. If there is any sticking out bits and pieces I like to get rid of them. It just doesn't look nice later on when the design is finished. And you guys actually ask it me like what kind of tips, where do I get these tips in the one size? They actually don't come in the one size and uh, I tried to get it more but I couldn't, like it was out of stock. So uh, I got them from eBay and they come in 10 different sizes. It's just like a full cover uh, almond shape, long almond oval. Uh, nail tips and I show you that in the packages as well. So the size 3 is my favorite one So does the size 2 they just perfect for the designs and then I'm using four size 4s today Which is a bit too small, but then size 1 is a bit too big <laughs> so um, usually I kind of don't use much of them maybe for a practice like um, and Keep them on the side and most of my designs are done on the size 2 and 3 because uh, they look the nicest so I'm just going to remove the dust and now we are going to paint it this tip. To create this design like normally the chrome doesn't stick into the gel polishes so I'm kind of doing a mixture and the gel polishes we are going to use is the Tic Tac which is white and then black ink uh, from the Adv Abvoted. They're really actually fantastic gel polishes like highly pigmented. You can almost get a perfect coat in a, in a one layer. Um, like I really love them. So what I have done is I painted it all the way through white and then high shine no wipe top gel all the UV blocker one and I'm just going to kind of add a couple drops of it um, because the chrome sticks the nicest to the no wipe top gel. And then take a tiny bit of the clean film squeeze it in between the fingers. I have done similar tutorial ages actually ago on the rose uh, quartz nails and uh, it is available there. Uh, but this is pretty interesting as well. Quite like uh, using the brush um, to create the wrinkle kind of look <laughs> to it and then pop it inside the lamp. Now when you're doing this design on the client it is really important that you would paint the first layer of the design and then cure it. Um, so say example if you're going for a black you would apply it black uh, or even no wipe top gel just so the chrome sticks to it and then for this part you would only use the um, gel polish more to the middle because when you press it if it's too close to the cuticle it is going to go over the cuticles uh, so I would kind of do it more to the middle uh, only on a client. And the drop of the top coat, tiny bit of those clean film. It's actually fun creating those designs, like a really great fun. <laughs> I, I didn't wrinkle it enough. So basically the more kind of like you press it flatter, the flatter designs you get, the more kind of you move it and lift it up, the more extreme kind of look you will get. And then cook it inside the lamp. Now I'm just check my other tip. Because actually the tips on the stand, sometimes if they twist in the wrong way, one side might be not cure. So popping this one to the lamp. And we're going to use some chromes. I actually give you the link to those uh, chromes as well. They're from Born Pretty and I quite like them, like they uh, nice chromes. 
So on this tip, like I have used the black background, it looks pretty nice, almost like an um, kind of crushed velvet or something. Really, really nice look through it. And then this one was on a white background. So it depends how much we wrinkle it. That's kind of different looks we get. And here I've got some kind of mixture of the gold and uh, pink. I think it's pretty nice it's, as well. So there is no good or wrong. Like, I mean, you can just do whatever you think is right. So the white one is cooked and I can peel it out. Now, sometimes it is a nightmare actually to peel the, to peel this off. And I don't want to overdo it so I'm gently peeling it off together with my tip Ta -da! okay I don't want to touch the tip too much with my finger only with my nail stick it back in and now we are going to use those chrome pigments so you could use the eyeshadow applicator like to apply it on I actually like to use my fingers I'm sorry guys um, and I'm going to do that so I pick up a tiny bit of it and just wrap this in So the chrome doesn't stick in well to the gel polish on its own, but because we have added a drop of the top coat, we can get the places which has those really nice and shiny look through it. And then the places where I had no top coat, the chrome isn't as chromey. So that's a good tip, guys, for you. I keep rubbing it until I'm happy. If you want, you could also dip in your finger into the gold and just go with some gold over it to kind of, kind of lighten it up and give it even more interesting look. Then with the brush, remove the excess. So we have created a pretty nice texture. Our next step is to apply the top coat. So I'm just going to apply the top coat like a really decent amount. You could do it with the gel as well, but I'm going to use the top coat and then in the middle, like a huge blob of the product, cook it inside the lamp. And then we're going to do the same on this one. Again, I don't want to touch the tip. Uh, there is some sticking clean feel. There we are, it's gone. So I'm going to take the pink one. I actually love this pink one. Just apply it in. And we will do it actually only in the pink. Rip, wrap this in so nice and chromey look I quite like to take a time when doing a chrome slide because the longer we will wrap into it with the finger the nicer results we will get like the chrome is more chromey then that's actually a really nice one it looks almost like a velvet materi material Absolutely beautiful, actually. Really nice. I can see all those wrinkles. And you can make a different size of the wrinkles. Like you could do it smaller, you could do it uh, bigger. They are kind of bigger size, I would say. Uh, but you could do it much smaller ones too. So applying this top coat, like really decent amount, really decent amount. And cook it inside the lamp. Now put everything on the side so we don't get messy. But I highly recommend those uh, Born Pretty chromes. They're really nice and they come in so different colors. And when we're talking about the recommendation as well, like one more time, best ever white, 173 Tic Tac 
and black ink like absolutely fantastic like best ever I have used and the white one cool so the white one is cooked I have put the top coat with the tiny bit of the inhibition layer so I need to remove it and then I'm going to quickly buff it because I don't want my clients to have any kind of sticking out uh, bits and pieces like I want them to have a nice and smooth nail so I would touch it up with the file and sometimes when we also file it from the top uh, we create another line so like on this design in here on the white one um, I have created those whites uh, even with the like bigger ones with the file so when you file you can see it I'm creating kind of white I show you in here those white we lines because that's the places where the design was much higher up but I wanted it to be really nice and smooth for my clients I mean you don't need to you could leave it just like without of buffing uh, I just like it to be buffed <coughs> and then the buffer I think it's also even gives an other kind of depth to it this design if we if we buff it and now I'm going to apply the top coat so everything pops back in we could file it even more to have more white but I really didn't want to so again totally up to you what kind of look you would like to create it's actually looking really awesome and interesting so inside the lamp and we can do exactly the same on the black one so I'm removing the inhibition layer and then give it a file actually I pull it off it's easier to file gosh I'm covered with those pigments now <laughs> But guys, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Like, I mean, obviously I've got cameraman with me, so you've got all the detail visible, like zoomed in compared from the salon tutorials uh, uh, where I'm on my own. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of trying to still work out the best camera angles for the salon tutorials. It's pretty difficult. Uh, so I hope I will work out something for you. And again, if I will file this, there will be some black lines which will show up more than before. And then just a buffer. It's actually pretty messy stuff. <laughs> so just going to buff it so it's extra, extra smooth. And then clean the dust and apply the top coat so nothing overly too complicated like and I have enjoyed doing this design so much that as you can see it I have created um, quite a few if you try this technique and you really like it hashtag Dorota Palicka because uh, I'm actually really loving checking all your works guys which you have recreated watching this channel as well and then once sometimes we put them up together and we do a wee video with all your works as well so this one is finished as well like a really nice it's such an interesting uh, interesting look uh, I must say we can cook it this one as well and uh, yeah you could do it with different type of colors you could do it um, with an ombre style <clears throat> so you will just apply pink and then yellow and kind of like rub it in the pink first and then yellow from the top and then whatever you've got left you will just blend it in the middle um, or like on this one I have kind of almost mixed it and you know what guys I think this might be a pretty beautiful color of the chrome so that's how the pink looks on its own how that's how the gold looks on its own and then when it's mixed it's kind of like an orangey I don't know it's a slightly different shade and I quite like it um, it's much much nicer um, so that's an, another good tip for you I actually need to try it this two mixed together because I think it might look pretty amazing so the one, the white one, 
is finished so I'm just going to peel this off from the blue tag yes I've got those red tape in my drawer but I still love using the blue tag uh, so cool design like absolutely amazing so we've got another one to collection actually I put them all different directions so you can see all different uh, texture on it this one is super cool and the black one is ready too uh, so you can see it my growth needles underneath oh my goodness they desperate to be cut and done fresh uh, but yeah that's what we have created today and I hope you have really enjoy watching this tutorial if you did and you're new in here hit the subscribe button as there is lots of different tutorials coming up and if you're existing subscriber hit the share button for me please so the others can see it as well glittery hacks and bye for now mm -hmm.